All right, just going to make a, another video showing more scriptural evidence refuting the Calvinistic false doctrine of irresistible grace, which again ties into their uh, heretical denial of the free will of man in regards to salvation, which is taught all throughout the scriptures. But I'm uh, going to get into these couple of verses I have that destroy, further destroy the Calvinistic false doctrine of irresistible grace, that God irresistibly pulls you towards salvation, you know, I know we Calvinists will define it different ways, but it essentially all comes down to their denial of free will. But anyway, Acts chapter 13, verse 45 to 46. But when the Jews saw the multitudes, they were filled with envy and spake against those things which were spoken by Paul, contradicting and blaspheming. Then Paul and Barnabas waxed bold and said, It was necessary that the word of God should have first been spoken to you, but seeing ye put it from you, and judge yourselves unworthy of everlasting life, lo, we turn to the Gentiles. They were preaching them the word of God, they were preaching them the gospel, and guess what? The Jews rejected it. The Jews were contradicting and blaspheming. Acts chapter 18, verse 5 to 6. And when Silas and Timotheus, hope I'm saying that name right, uh, were come to Macedonia, Paul pr was pressed was pressed in the spirit and testified to the Jews that Jesus was Christ. And when they opposed themselves and when they opposed themselves and blasphemed, he shook his raiment and said unto them, Your blood be upon your own heads. I am clean, and he from henceforth I will go to the gen unto the Gentiles. Not good at reading on a computer. But again, they're, he's preaching them the word of, of Christ, and they're contradicting and even blaspheming. Because why? Well, Judaism is a religion that hates Jesus Christ. Uh, Acts chapter 19, verse 8 to 9. It also proves irresistible grace. Or sorry, it proves, teaches against irresistible grace, I meant to say. Slip of the tongue there. Guarantee you're going to have somebody take that and make a, clip, make a video clip out of that and take me out of context. But whatever. People have to lie to, to prove their point. Uh, Acts chapter 19, verse uh, 8 to 9. And he went into the synagogue and spake boldly for the space of three months, disputing and persuading the things concerning the kingdom of God. But when diverse, when the diverse were hardened and believed not, but spake evil of that way before the multitude, he departed from them and separated the disciples, disputing daily in the school of one of the of one uh, tyrannous. Again, probably not saying that name right, but uh, we see there again they're rejecting. They're able to reject the word of the Lord. Uh, Romans chapter 10, verses 20 to 21. Romans chapter 10, verses 20 to 21. But Elias is very bold, and saith, I was found of them that sought me not. I was made manifest unto them that asked not after me. That asked not after me, but to Israel he saith, All day long I stretched forth. I have stretched forth my hand unto a disobedient and a gains and gainsaying people. And he's quoting there from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 1 to 2. He's preaching out his hand saying, here's my hand, that's what God's doing. And guess what? They're a disobedient and gainsaying people referring to the Jews, and they rejected it. And again, he's quoting from Isaiah chapter 65, verse 1 to 2. Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. Last verse I'm going to go to, Matthew chapter 20, verse 16. And all those examples we're seeing that they're able to reject God reaching out his hand or preaching the gospel to them, but the choose the Jews are choosing to reject the gospel. Matthew chapter twenty, verse sixteen. So the last shall be first, and the first last, for many are called, but few chosen. Sorry, it says many be called and few chosen. That's what we have there. Many be called, but few chosen. Why? Because you can reject. Now I understand this is dispensationally before the, the crucifying of Jesus Christ on the cross. I do, you know, and again, I'm not good at reading things on a computer, but we see there that many are called, but few chosen. You know, they're able to reject. They can be called. God can reach, like we get, read in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 24 to 31, God's reaching out his hand, but they refused. So don't be deceived by Calvinism. They have to just deny plain scripture to teach their denial of free will. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye. Thank you.